Honestly, even with us being day 62 without sports, there's still so much going on in the sports world, so much movement. I mean, we got to witness the NFL draft, um, MJ's last dance series that has occurred every Sunday. So there's ways that we've still been in tune with, you know, our players, but there's obviously nothing like seeing live, you know, shows, I mean, sorry, live games and, and really uh, talking about them. Yeah. So have you guys been keeping up with the last dance? Have to. I mean, like you said, there ain't nothing else going on. Right. Anyway, so it's last dance or nothing. But no, it's like just really nostalgic. Uh, just going mm-hmm. back to that time and growing up as a as a Bulls fan with Mike, uh, you know, being my favorite player and Scotty. You know what I'm saying? Like just to kind of relive that. Even though I was a little bit, you know, disappointed in in, in one of the things that uh they showed in uh episode eight, I believe it was with Scotty when uh, he didn't want to go back in the game. And I ca- I had kind of forgotten about that. And I think, like, you know, as a kid, you know, your love for the players and team, like, they could just do no wrong. So you kind of don't even realize, you know, what he did in that moment. But reliving that right now as an adult and watching that, like, mm-hmm. I would have been so disappointed at the time. Like, had I been, like, I guess the age I am now, I'd have been so disappointed. Like, yo, Scotty, you – yo, you didn't go back in the game, bro? Like, what? Are you crazy, yo? Like, that's the ultimate, like, I cannot forgive you for, like, I would have stopped rocking with Scotty because of that if I was the age I am now. Yeah. As much as I love Scotty and, and the Bulls at that time, if I was this age now, I would have stopped rocking with him because of that. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. I, I remember it uh, vividly because being a diehard Knicks fan and that happened against the Knicks in the playoffs. Um, I have always been a Scotty Pippen defender. I think he's one of the most underrated basketball players we've ever seen um, because of his versatility. When we talk about guys in the game now, like Kawhi Leonard, like Paul George, their game is really relatable to what Scotty brought to the game back in the 90s. Um, Mm -hmm. But Tripp is absolutely right. I know people who to this day will not forgive Scotty Pippen for that, who will continue to hold that over set. No matter how great his accolades are, how great his accomplishments are, they will still say he quit on his team in a pivotal moment. Um, and I had the, the, the privilege to meet him about eight years ago when he got inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame as part of the Dream Team. Real cool guy, but he, he owns it too. He understands that there are people who will never quite look at him the same because of that moment. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. Real 